Welcome to Workday Recruiting, Creating and Copying Job Requisitions. In this session, we'll review the features and functionality of job requisitions in Workday Recruiting. A job requisition is a formal request to create a new position or hire into either an existing or multiple positions. Workday Recruiting requires you to use job requisitions. You can create and edit job requisitions for filled and unfilled positions in organizations that use either the position management or job management staffing model. You can also associate a job requisition with questionnaires. Let's review a job requisition. The job requisition page provides a comprehensive, actionable view. The job requisition header includes recruiting start date, target hire date, primary location, hiring manager, and recruiter. In addition to the header, there are various tabs within the job requisition to facilitate the recruiting and hiring process. The overview tab provides candidate pipeline details, interactive candidates by active stage chart, and interactive candidates by source chart. From the candidate tab, you may view candidates awaiting action by you and various reports for managing candidates. Moving on to the details tab, you will see detailed information about a job requisition, requisition compensation information, and the interview team. Next, from the qualifications tab, you may review and modify competencies, certifications, languages, work experience, education, and responsibilities. And from the job posting tab, you can post jobs to your job posting sites and view and modify existing job posting details. After reviewing this job requisition, you may wonder where did all this information default from? Well, when you create a new job requisition, the job profile, position, and recruiting condition rules determine the data that defaults in. Workday automatically populates these associated fields. More specifically, for position management organizations, Workday defaults data from the most recent filled position or from position restrictions. In comparison, job management organizations use the job profile and recruiting condition rules. Once created, you may modify the job requisition. Modifications apply to all job openings associated with the job requisition. If you modify a job requisition that is posted to a career site, you will need to unpost and repost your jobs to ensure your career sites reflect these changes. To create or modify job requisitions, use Create Job Requisition Task or Edit Job Requisition Task. Depending on your security permissions, you can access these tasks from the Recruiting Hub. These tasks use a guided editor to help you enter various details, such as recruiting information, job, qualifications, attachments, assign roles, optional, compensation, optional, and summary. Now that you're more familiar with job requisitions, I'll demonstrate how to create one. Meet Carmen Cortez, a recruiter for the Property Management USA Group. The organization approved a new staff addition for the Senior Facilities Administrator position. Carmen will create a job requisition that meets the following requirements. A spotlight job, available to internal and external candidates, immediate target hire date, primary location in Dallas, additional locations in New York and San Francisco, attach eligibility questionnaires and personality assessment, add work experience qualifications, and $18.50 US dollars hourly compensation. As Carmen, I will navigate to the navigation pane and select the shortcuts icon. From the menu, I will select Create Job Requisition. Notice the pop-up window displays. 
Let's enter or confirm the following information. For the supervisory organization, I will enter and search for Property Management USA Group. I will select the radio dial for for existing position. In the field, I will select Facilities Administrator Unfilled. For worker type, let's confirm employee defaults in the field. Next, I will select OK. The Create Job Requisition Task displays. I'll close the pop-up. Notice the Recruiting Information page of the Guided Editor displays. From the Recruiting Details section, select the Edit icon and enter the following information. For Reason, I'll select Create Job Requisition, New Position, Previously Approved Staff Edition. Let's select the checkbox for Spotlight Job. For Recruiting Instruction, I will select Post Internally and Externally. For Recruiting Start Date, I will use Today's Date. And for Target Hire Date, I will use Today's Date. I'll select the Next button below and notice the Job page displays. In the Job Details section, I will review the fields that populated from the selected existing position. From the Job Details section, I will select the Edit icon and enter the following information. In the Job Posting title, I'll enter Senior Facilities Administrator. For the Primary Location, I'll enter Dallas. Notice that Dallas defaults in the Primary Job Posting Location field. For additional locations, I will enter New York and San Francisco. Notice that both locations default in the Additional Job Posting Locations field. I will now select the Save icon and scroll to the Questionnaires section. From Questionnaires, let's select the Edit icon and enter the following information. For Internal Career Site Primary, I'll select Internal Eligibility. For External Career Sites Primary, I will select External Eligibility. Now, I'll select the Save icon and scroll to the Assessment section. From the Assessment section, I'll select the Edit icon. For Default Assessment Tests field, I will enter Personality. Now, I will select the Save icon and then select the Next button. Notice I'm on the Skills page. I can review the skills that defaulted from the Job Profile and select Next. From the Qualifications page, I'll scroll to the Work Experience section, select the Add button, and enter the following information. For Work Experience, I'll enter Project Management. For Experience level, I'll select 5 plus years. Let's select the Save icon and then select Next until I reach the Compensation page. Notice the guidelines that defaulted in for this position based on configured compensation rules. I'll scroll to the Hourly section and select the Edit icon. In the Amount field, I'll enter 1850 and then select the Save icon. I'll select the Next button. Now, notice I'm on the Assign Roles page. I'll select the Add button and enter the following information. For Role, I'll enter Primary Recruiter. For Assign To, I will enter Senior Recruiter Carmen Cortez. I'll select the Next button. I've now reached the Summary page. I'll review the job requisition and select the Submit button. After Carmen submits the job requisition, the Positions with Security Access will review and approve the job requisition and the job application template. To confirm the approval and creation of the job requisition, search and select the supervisory organization for which it was created, and then select the Staffing tab. In Workday, you may copy and modify job requisitions too. There are two methods to use. From the job requisitions related actions, select Copy 
to create job requisition. Use Create Job Requisition task and then select Copy Details from Existing Job Requisition. Whenever copying from an existing job requisition, please review all details carefully. The following fields will need to be entered manually. Replacement for, recruiting start date, target hire date, target end date, and assignable role. In this session, we've reviewed and demonstrated how job requisitions function in Workday Recruiting. Thank you for taking the time to learn with Workday.